Welcome to Simply Simple Life. Today I want to share with you how I make Ganesha for Vinayaka Chaturthi at home. This is an eco-friendly Ganesha, very very easy to make, very few ingredients we need and it can be made quite easily and um, it takes about half an hour or so to just prepare our Ganesha. Um, and it is quite easy to dissolve him also after the prayers are done after three days or five days once our prayers are done we can dissolve him in water and that water you know in a very small vessel we can uh, dissolve him and that water can be used to water our plants so come on let's see my cute little Ganesha here isn't he cute for this we need turmeric about quarter cup quarter cup of wheat flour some water take the flour in a plate add equal amount of turmeric about quarter cup doesn't have to be exact mix it up and then add water and make a soft dough just like how we do for chapatis just keep mixing it keep adding it in water and make a soft dough just like the one we do for chapatis so once this is ready section out a small portion of this dough roll it out and flatten it to make the base on which our ganesha is going to sit now roll out two equal sized um, portions and roll them out into his legs keep it on top of the base now here I'm making some indentations using a, a toothpick this is for his dhoti but this can be done at a later stage because I noticed that uh, as we are making the Ganesha this line is going to get smudged now take a bigger portion roll it out and keep it on top or in between his legs and that forms his body now take another section roll it out and that will be his face and in his face we have to have a trunk so just pull out a little dough elongate it and that will make a trunk now secure this on top of his body and there our Ganesha is coming along nicely now take another section and roll it out into his arm so for him we will have two arms this is the left arm in which uh, he will be holding a modakam i will place the modakam later once the modakam is prepared and this is the abaya hasta his right hand where he is blessing us so just make sure to turn the palms in the correct directions I'm taking a toothpick to secure his arms to his body because once the dough dries out there's a tendency for the arms to fall off so just to be careful we will secure it with a toothpick now for his makudam flatten out a piece of dough now secure it with a toothpick a small toothpick on top this will make sure that this one the head here doesn't fall off after the dough dries out so shape it like a modakam and secure it on top of the toothpick now I'm just marking where his eyes are going to be I'm using a little dough to make his ears he can secure his ears using a little water so once the ears are secured just insert pepcorns where we have marked for the eyes there 
his eyes are there and now two toothpicks are going to make his tusk so two small pieces of toothpicks this is a thread this will be his punu or the holy thread it goes around one shoulder and he can secure it at the back just make a knot just a little final touches now i'm using paint it's a white paint from my kids artwork and i'm making uh, three lines for the vibhuti on his forehead on his arm on his palm he's quite cute so i want to make vibhuti marks on his ears also isn't he cute and a bindi and there our cute ganesha is ready isn't it nice it's so nice and so fulfilling to make ganesha at home uh it doesn't matter if it is doesn't come out perfectly ganesha is very forgiving so do give it a shot do make a ganesha at home and a happy vinayaka chaturthi to all of you take care bye bye